It's not just the holiday plans of soldiers and their families thrown into disarray by Olympic duties. Today also saw celebrations of the Battle of Minden, fought more than 250 years ago, hit as well. But that didn't stop the 1st Battalion, the Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment, finding a way to adapt and overcome, as Rob Olver and James Banks report from Paderborn and London. Historians often describe the Battle of Minden on the 1st of August 1759 as the turning point in the Seven Years' War. The Battle of Minden was a really important battle. Um, it was the high watermark of the French advance into Prussia uh, and really set the, uh, the ascendancy of the British Empire uh, over that of the French. Among those who fought at Minden were 37th Regiment of Foot, regimental predecessors of the 1st Battalion, the Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment. It's why today, as every year, one PWRR have been celebrating the battle. On a parade at their Paderborn base, battalion wives helped mark Minden Day by presenting soldiers with roses to attach to their berets. The tradition originated at Minden, where British regiments wore wild roses plucked from the hedgerows as they engaged the enemy. It's very important to maintain um, the history and to, to remember what our four bear regiments did. But for a battle in which 14,000 people died and which some academics consider as important as Waterloo, Minden remains largely unknown to the British public. If you think of sacrifices that the battalions have made, and for our battalion in particular, it uh, means a lot to us. Uh, and even if it's down to educating people back home in schools you know, about the battle. I think it'd be nice if, if, it, if they could actually obviously celebrate more, more often some of the other uh, battle arms other than the main ones that they, they know about. With three quarters of the Paderborn unit, including the commanding officer and regimental sergeant major at the Olympics, celebrations in Germany today involved only 120 soldiers. For the third year in a row, operational commitments have prevented the whole battalion marking Minden Day at their home base. The few that remained made the best of it with sports competitions and other events. And as a day of celebrations has continued here in Germany, They've also been marking Minden Day at the Olympics in London, as my colleague James Banks now reports. This disused shopping centre in London might not be what these soldiers are used to, but for the next few weeks they'll be calling it home whilst they provide security for the 30th modern Olympiad. John! This being the British Army, however, they've still found time to honour traditions in between a busy Olympic schedule. The Battle of Minden is one of many outstanding examples of British courage, determination, discipline and coolness. Right the way through from the Royal Hampshire Regiment, the Hampshire Regiment as it was then at the Battle of Minden. And what we are hoping to preserve is that same thread of, sort of discipline, coolness and professionalism all the way from the Battle of Minden through our recent deployment Operation Herrick and now here to um, Op Olympic. But with loved ones still in Germany, a new presentation party had to be found. Very kindly, uh, some of the female service women um, agreed to step, in, step into the breach, as it were, and hand out the roses, and I think it made for a, a nice day. Organisers of the Olympics clearly had tradition in mind when they planned many of the venues, such as Horse Guards Parade and Lord's Cricket Ground which makes the recognition of Minden Day by members of the venue security force completely in keeping with the spirit of the London 2012 Games. James Banks, Forces News, London.